Hi, this is Engineer Khaled and today I will explain you about the concrete. In this video, I will explain you about the different types of concrete. I will tell you the non-structural and structural concrete. I will tell you the substructural concrete and superstructural concrete. I will tell you the ingredients of concrete and I will explain you the tests for the concretes. This is very good for the interview question and the basic knowledge of concrete because so many questions are coming in the interview about the concrete. So I will explain you one by one. First, the type of concrete. First is the PCC concrete, which is non-structural. Then screed, then foam concrete. These three are non-structural. Then the structural concrete is substructure and superstructure concrete. Ingredients for concrete are cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, water, admixture, GGBS, fly ash, and micro silica. First of all, I will tell you the PCC concrete, which is called the plain cement concrete. It's graded C2020. The C20 means its compressive strength is 20 Newton per mm square or 20 megapascal and maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm. PCC is normally used under the foundations and PCC is normally used under the raft. It's a non-structural concrete, it's grade C2020 and it's used under the foundations and the raft. The next non-structural concrete is a screed, it's grade C2010. And it is used as a protection, whatever required under the ground or above the ground. The next non-structural concrete is a foam concrete. It is a very lightweight concrete. Its density only 400 to 1000 kg per kg per mm cube. Its compressive strength is very low. It is foam concrete. It's used as a protection. It's a non-structural concrete. Now I will tell you about the structural concretes. In the structural concrete, first of all, the substructural concrete, the substructural concrete areas where we are using under the ground levels. It is used for the concrete footings, concrete raft, retaining walls, columns. Substructural concrete, normally grade we are using, it depends upon your project requirement. Normally it is C4020, RC5020, etc. C4020 means the compressive strength is 40 and the aggregate size is 20. Substructural concrete mixed design. We are using the cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, admixture, water, etc. This is a copy of mixed design. It will tell you all the ingredients which are used in the, our concrete, the type of concrete, it, the different percentage of the materials. And here I will tell you the different tests for the fresh concrete. The different tests for the fresh concrete, the first test is the temperature. Once the concrete will come to the site, first of all, we will take the concrete in the bucket and we'll check the temperature. The temperature should not be more than 32 degrees Celsius. The next test for the fresh concrete is a slump test. It tells you the, about the workability of concrete. It is good. It tells you that this concrete quality is good or not. And then we'll check the air content. The air content is normally not checked at the site. It's checked in the lab only. At the site, only the temperature and the slump. And when the concrete, we we'll start casting of concrete, we will prepare the cubes for the, each concrete structure, whether it is a raft or column or beams or slab. And sets of cubes will just mark the, ident the unified number on the cube and we will put in the water tanks for a certain period of time until it will go to for the crushing. So this is the test for the hardened concrete. So the first test is the seven days compressive strength of concrete. It should not be less than 75% of its compressive value. So after seven days, we will take out the cubes from the tank and send to the lab to test compressive strength for seven days. And as I told you, it should not be less than 75% of its compressive strength. Then we will send cube for 28 days and we'll crush in the lab. And this test should not be less than 100%. And then this is the durability, durability test, initial surface absorption test. It should not be less than 0.15 ml per, per square meter per second. The next day, test hardened concrete is a water penetration. It should be less than 8 mm. It's a durability test. And then this uh, again test is water absorption. It's a durability test. It should be less than 1.5%. This for the substructure concrete and then there's RCP which is called the rapid chloride rapid chloride penetration. It should be less than 1000 coulombs. It's a durability test for hardened concrete. And then we have the chloride and sulfate contents in the durability test hardened concrete. Chloride should be less than 0.2% and sulfate should be less than 4%. Now the substructure concrete I will explain you. Now I will use I will tell you the superstructure concrete. Superstructure concrete are used are area which are above the ground level. 
for example for the slab for the columns for the core wall for the shear wall whatever coming under upper the ground superstructure concrete have different grades like c4020 502060 also it depends upon the project requirement ingredients are same fine aggregate cement, cement fine aggregates coarse aggregate etc admixture ggbs fly as micro silica this is a copy of mixed design here you can see all different materials its quantities its percentage then again for the test of hardened concrete and the fresh concretes same test which we have used conducted in our substructure will conduct the same test for the superstructure for the fresh concrete the same test will be we will use for the super sub but for the hardened concrete we will use only the 728 days compressive strength so just i have covered so many interview question about the concrete if you like it please subscribe